we will go back to our controller which is authentication controller and here we will implement a method create new account create new user account now this method will receive some parameters and that is of course the user data so first of all we will receive here the image file so let's give it the same variable names for time saving okay instead of typing we can just use these so first parameter it receive will, this method will receive is the image profile then the name age then of course phone number so these are the parameter for the personal info that we will receive inside this method in order to access this method we have to provide these parameter as well as other parameter as well which is appearance related and that are so we will receive all these parameter whenever I mean we have to pass to this method all these parameter whenever we call this method so we have to pass all these parameter to it so now inside inside this method we will using the try catch block the sign up code we will write inside the try block and let's say if any exception occur that is if any error occur then that error message we have to display to the user that is what is going on so we will say account creation unsuccessful and we will say error occurred colon and then that error message we have to display so we can say dollar error message now let's write the create account code here inside the try block so first of all we will create an instance of the user credential let's give it name as credential and this method will be asynchronous as we will have to wait for the response from the authentication that is when the user is authenticated successfully firebase or dot instance create user with email and password the first thing that we have to pass is the email of the user and the second thing is the password of the user and which we forgot to add to our model class as well as in the parameter which this method will receive so what we can do is inside our person model class first of all make sure to add that here so we can say string email string password
and similarly when you add that here then we have to add here inside the constructor after the this dot image profile we can say this dot email this dot password similarly from data snapshot after the image profile we have email then we have password then inside the two json after the image profile so make sure to do these changes inside the person model class and then inside our create user account we have to receive those parameters that is we have to pass through this method those parameter whenever we call it which is receiving here as you can see all these parameter we are receiving here inside this method so that will be email and also the password so now we can say the email will be the email which the user will type in the text field which we are receiving here as a parameter similarly the password which will the user type in the text field on the registration scheme so that value we are receiving here as a parameter and we will pass the email and password to firebase authentication in order to create a user with email and password so this was the first step which is authenticate user and create user with email and password now authenticate user simply means that automatically when we when this code is executed let's say by the same email if an account is already created then it will not go forward it will proceed with the exception and the error message will be you this email is already registered with some other user some other user has already that user or you can say it will say that an account with the same email address exists already or let's say if you provide the email address in bad format so the exception will be the email is in bad format so this part is related to the firebase authentication the next part is related to the storage that is the profile image we have to upload so we can say upload image to storage firebase storage basically so we have to implement the method for that which will be upload image to storage and we will pass to this method one thing as a parameter and that will be the image file so uploading image to storage let's implement this method upload image to storage 